What's good, Barbie babies? It's your girl, Barbie, and we're back again, once again, with another banger. As you can tell by the title today, I'm going to be talking about how I grew my YouTube channel fast and how did I get to 3K in less than two years. So make sure you give this video a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, it's on the screen in the description down below. So go follow me. So. Let's get into this video. If you see me looking down, it's because I wrote everything down that you guys have been asking me about my channel. So I just wrote it down and the things that I want to talk about. So just stay with me. You guys had asked, what are the equipment that I need to start my YouTube channel? To be honest with you, you can record off any iPhone as long as it has good quality lighting and auto is good like we can hear you clear like right now I'm recording off my phone so yeah and since sometimes I record off my iPad as well if I don't have enough storage on my phone if you guys know about recording off a phone or iPad and you're running out of storage you guys know the struggle what is the appropriate time to get a camera um, when you run out of space, like I said, forget to delete photos or videos and you already uploaded it and it's still in your photo albums, make sure you delete it. If you're done with the pictures and videos for your YouTube channel, make sure you delete it. If you don't, you have run out of storage and then you have to go through the whole process of deleting or just buying more storage. Yeah, appropriate time to buy a camera. It's kind of your choice. If you want better quality, then go get a camera. If you are just starting YouTube, I would suggest you to do your research on a camera. Do you need a MacBook? No, you don't. Not all YouTubers use a MacBook. Like, um, for me, I usually just use my Chrome a laptop. This is what I be using. And then sometimes I use my iPad. So you need an iBook, but it is up to you if you want one. Camera recommendations, it's kind of up to you. Like if you want like the the 90s look, like an old film thing, you would use an old camera. If you would like better quality, you would use an updated one. What is your editor? <clears throat> I use iMovie. I know there's other um, apps that I can use to edit my videos, but I've been using iMovie since the beginning. How to make editing easier. This is what I do to make it a little easier because most of my videos are long so this is what I do. I go in and do like a rough cut and cut out anything I don't want in the video. Then I will go back and then add my effects in, the music, all that, the likes and comments and subscribe. And I'm doing all that while I'm still vlogging so that way when I'm done vlogging and I add the extra videos in there, it won't take me as long. How long does editing take? For me, it would take a whole day but it depends on how long your video is and if you're adding extra effects and sounds and all that, that would take like a whole day, maybe an hour. Comment down below how long does it take you to, um, to edit your videos. Mine is like an hour, I'm not gonna lie, a whole day to an hour. It depends. Do you have a management team? No, I promote myself. Um, I edit all my stuff. No one works with me. I haven't hired anyone to work for me and I don't want to. I can check my own emails and all that. It may take me some time to get back to you guys, but you guys know I got you. Did I invest in a video editor? What they mean by this is that they would hire someone to edit their video for them. If they're lazy and they don't want to do it themselves, they will hire someone to edit their videos. But I would suggest you to learn how to edit your videos first because if you hire someone to edit your videos, they can just up and disappear and you would never hear from them again and you just stuck without a video edit to upload or anything like that. So I would suggest you to learn how to edit yourself before you invest in an editor. Where do I get my music from? You can get your music from in the um, YouTube studio. Sometimes I use the music that's in the iMovie, but most of the time I use like the music that people send me in my email and they want me to use it in my videos. So yeah, but most of the times I just use the iMovie if I don't want to go through my emails and then download the music into my video and all that extra stuff. But most of the time I use the music that they send me in my email just to show them support. Are thumbnails important? Yes, thumbnails are very important. It catches your audience's eyes. It tells us what your 
your video is about. Make sure your thumbnails is clear, it's not blurry like you just screenshot it out of your video. Make sure it's kind of clear so we can see it. How consistent do I need to be? I can't really tell you how consistent you need to be. It's really up to you, but I would suggest you to upload two times a week. If you're not where you need to be, I would just suggest you to upload two times a week. Maybe one time a week, just so your audience don't forget about you. Because if you stop uploading, they're not gonna like see you in their recommendations and stuff like that. So be consistent on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, all that. How do I pick my title? Make sure your title makes sense. If you have a title like, I'm not feeling so good. I'm going to the store with my mom. This like in third. It's like if you have like. What can I say? Sentence. Your title. No one's gonna look for that. Like if you do like videos that people are doing, like how to get ready with me, vlogs, you know, challenges, stuff like that. But the title has to make sense. It has to be clear. How do I promote my channel? There's no way of saying this, but just get on your Instagram and post your YouTube channel or your business, whatever you're doing, and promote it on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, everywhere. All your social medias, promote it. Promote yourself every day. If they get tired of seeing you on their newsfeed, then they can politely bring you and block you if they're not supportive. Because I promote myself every single day, every minute, and if they don't like it, they can just unfriend me. <coughs> Is that it? <coughs> Oh. How do I deal with negativity? Simply, sis, block them or delete them. Trust and believe I have had negative comments. You guys probably have never seen them because I always make sure they're deleted. Like, there's always a hater out there that would, there's always something they would say about you. But at the end of the day, I am grown and I don't care what you gotta say about me. That saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. And that's on period. Cause I don't care what you gotta say because at the end of the day you still watch my video and I still love you for supporting me but I would just suggest you delete and block them if you can't deal with the negative comments just delete and block them sis period how do I film I can't really tell you that just film what you want you can do a get ready with me a reaction video a vlog a cooking video you can do shorts you can do stuff like that do what you want on your channel it's your channel how do i be confident on a camera um to be honest these are things that you have to teach yourself it's kind of like a skill basically you're practicing so what i would suggest you to do like i did in the beginning is just record random videos of yourself just talking about anything and then go back and watch the movie and if you don't like the way how you know the auto is and how you're talking and how you look those are little things that you can fix yourself it takes practice it took me a lot to be confident in the camera and just be myself I'm being myself and I just love it because my personality is coming out more and you guys are definitely seeing it if you guys watch my videos all the way from the beginning I don't know back in 2000 I would say 17, 18, I would say 2018 is when I took YouTube serious. I would suggest you go back to those videos and watch those videos and then come back to the videos of this year and you can see like a whole difference in my personality. So just be yourself and practice. You got this, sis. And don't give up. Please don't give up. Okay, this is all, these are all the questions that I have read and answered so i hope this was good for you guys i hope i answered all the questions that you wanted me to if not you can just leave them down in the comments and we can talk in the comments i like communicating with you guys so leave a comment follow me on instagram all my platforms is down in the description down below i also want to say like if you're just starting youtube and you feel like you aren't doing enough and you feel like getting hard i'm just gonna be honest with you doing youtube is hard but I want to suggest you to give up. I want you to keep going. Keep going. Because there were times where I wanted to give up, for sure. Especially in the beginning where I was just using two iPhones to do videos for you guys. And it was stressful. It was a headache. But I still did it for you guys. But just keep going. Don't give up. 
God is watching you. He's watching all the hard work that you were doing into your channel and into your business. And he has a huge surprise for you in the future. If you don't feel motivated, I would suggest you watch motivation videos on YouTube. I watch them all the time in the morning just so I can, you know, boost my energy up and my motivation. Because people on Facebook, they love my energy, they love my posts because I speak nothing but facts on my page. So, me listening to the motivational videos on YouTube, it really motivates me to do YouTube for you guys. And you guys show support and leave in comments. So I really want to thank you guys because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I love you guys so much. Um, So this is going to be the end of the video. I just wanted to talk to you guys about my channel and how you guys can improve your channel i hope i answered all the questions that you want me to answer if you like this video make sure you give this video a like comment subscribe hit that notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a new video make sure you follow me on instagram so the screen in the description down below so go follow me matter of fact go follow all my social down in the description down below including facebook because i am a lot more active on there doing all my youtube stuff than i was before so make sure you go follow me on facebook as well comment down below any other videos you guys want me to do or you can just dm me separately it don't matter next time you guys i'm out bye <laughs>